do I need to flash my graphics card BIOS? And when should I flash my graphics card BIOS? Well, it just depends on what it's doing. So number one, if the computer is running fine, the graphics drivers are installed, and the issue is when you load up a game, that's typically, in my opinion, uh, least likely to need a graphics card BIOS flashing. Typically, that's more of a cooling issue. The way I kind of differentiate is I'll load up Heaven Benchmark. I'll post a link below to it. I know some people use for a mark or whatever, but Heaven Benchmark is kind of nice. It's kind of pretty looking, and the music's pretty soothing. But anyways, but I'll use Heaven Benchmark. I'll load it up, and it's a stress test. And if you look at it, it'll show you the, t uh, the temperatures and the frames and all that stuff. And that's what you want to look for. So first off, you want to look for is your temperatures. If they're shooting up real quickly, um, shut it down. You have a cooling issue, bad thermal pads, thermal paste. Maybe a fan's not working. That's one issue. Another thing that you want to look at is the um, clocks. If you look at the clocks and compare them to like a Tech Power Ups website where they have all those, where they have all the data for each card as far as the clocks and all that stuff, you notice that the clocks are like really low or just not within that spec that it should be. Could be a chance that somebody flashed the BIOS already, usually for mining. It's been down clocked or undervolted for, or for whatever reason like that. Usually then you'll have to uh, flash the BIOS just to put it to the original settings and not the uh, mining BIOS. Now the other issue is, is that when you're having like hard shutdowns and hard restarts and crashes, blue screens of death all the time. So you put the graphics card in and you get a screen, but the first thing you start noticing is that it starts getting artifacting. So when I start seeing that happening, the first thing I can do, what I do try to do is um, run GPU Z if it's if I'm able to use window. And what GPU Z is, it'll tell you like the memory, the memory frequencies, all that good stuff on it. And if you start seeing on GPU Z that it's not showing how much memory it has or any information on it, there's usually a chance that the memory is bad on it, some type of hardware issue. And when you have those issues going on, that's when I usually recommend a GPU bio flash because then at that point you have nothing to lose and it may fix the issue. Hardware, software degrades over time. And sometimes a quick BIOS flash may fix those issues. My thing is when I get a graphics card and if I can rule out that it's not a cooling issue that's causing all these issues that I'm having with it, I'll flash the BIOS. It's either gonna be a cooling issue or it's gonna be a hardware issue. GPU Z will kind of help you, lead you in the direction of a hardware issue. Heaven Benchmark will let you know if it's a cooling issue. And cooling issues are a lot easier to fix. Hardware issues require sometimes a BIOS flash and sometimes are not fixable. So those are my thoughts on that.